Lobos. No way! <laughs> No way! Goodbye. Yeah, boys. It is. It is. It was stickiness. Uh, enough. I will do a magical mystery with what I refer to as the magician's magical black box. If you look over here, we have this black box. We're also going to use the magician's top hat. This is the magician's top hat. So if you look over here, we have a top door. Behind that door, there's nothing. But behind this door here is a large die. Now, this is called a die. So here's what's going to happen. This die will float from the box invisibly through thin air and end up over here in the hat. Is everybody ready? Yep. Okay, watch closely. It's going to happen very quickly. I take the die. The die goes in the box. I'm going to give you one last look at it. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, watch closely now. I close the door. I say a magic word. Focus, focus. When I open up this door here, do you all see that it has disappeared? It is gone. On the side. Over here? Yeah. There is nothing over here. <laughs> oh my god. It's so obvious. Out of sight, out of sight. Out of sight. I will open both doors. I'm a fair magician. I got it. I saw it. I don't see it. Well, look at it. It really did disappear. What? No way. What happened when we were looking? It was floating invisibly through thin air and ended up over here in the house. Thank you. Wow. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for my next mystery, I need a, how about a boy who's like about four years old? You want hey, to hey, hey, hey. Come on up here, please. Patrick, yeah. Thank you. What's your name? What? Nathan. Nathan? Nathan? Nathan, right? Okay, Nathan. Stand right there. Look at everybody out there. Give everybody the biggest smile you have. Yay! Now, Nathan, you're going to be doing a mystery with this green and yellow bag right here. Okay, Nathan? But Nathan... Do you mind if I call you Nathan the Magician? Is that okay? Okay. So Nathan, since you're going to be a magician, it's very important. You look like a magician, so I'm going to let you borrow one of my magic hats. Looks pretty cool, huh? I like it. So you look out there, Nathan. Okay, we're going to put the magic hat on you, so you really look like a magician. What do you think, boys? Yay! 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 Now, Nathan. All magicians need a special magic wand. This will be your <laughs> magic wand. So you hold the magic wand, okay? You got it? Thank you. Now, wait a minute, Nathan. Can you do it with two magic wands? I think so. Here, hold that one with the other hand, Nathan. Right there. Got it. Thank you. Now, wait a minute, Nathan. Here, this one goes underneath your arm right there, okay? I think Nathan can do it with three magic wands. Don't you believe yeah. yeah. Hold that one right yeah. there, Nathan. You got it? Thank you. Three. Now, Wait a minute, Nathan. Here, this one's four, four. that arm right there. Make it four. I think Nathan can do it with four magic wands. Yes. Don't you? Here, yeah. Right there, Nathan. Thank you. Uh, what? Wait a minute, Nathan. Here, that one goes underneath the tinny chin chin, okay? <laughs> Nathan, I promise this is the very last magic wand. You hold that right there. You got it? I promise. Thank you. I promise. Uh, Nathan, we had too many magic wands. Too many. Here, let me help you with some of those, okay? Now, Nathan, the magician, inside this bag are three scarves. Put your hand in the bag and pull out those scarves, please. Uh, there should be three of them. Yeah. Now, take those scarves, wave them up and down so everybody can see them like this, Nathan. Go up and wave it, down. wave it, wave it. Like this, let's see. Okay. Now, Nathan, take those scarves, put them back in the bag. 
Now, Nathan, magicians do these really mysterious things with their hands. They wiggle their fingers like this. Can you do that? Oh, I know. Do like this. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle. Yeah. Good. You got it. Now, take your magic wand. Wave it over the bag. Yeah. We story, can stir it. Stir it. Stir it. Stir it. Like a pot of soup. Now, Nathan, do you have any special magic words you want to say? Alibaba. Nathan, put your hand in the bag. Show everybody what you've done. Open it up. Oh, Nathan, a big round of applause. Yes. Thank you. You know, Nathan, you are such a good magician. Do you know what you did? You know the black hat you're wearing? You turned it into a bunny rabbit. Let me show you. Look at you did that, Nathan. Wow. Thank you for helping. Well now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my next mystery is called You Do As I Do. We need a boy helper. Who would like to be a boy helper? Dominic! Dominic! Oh, you be my helper? Yeah, come on up here. Let's give him a big round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. What's your name? Oh, Aldrin. Aldrin. Let's all clap our hands for Aldrin. Now, Aldrin, the name of this mystery is called, this is called You Do As I Do. So, Aldrin, I'm going to give you a nap. Can you go ahead and open it up, please? Okay, and we're going to play some special music for this magic trick. But, Aldrin, remember the name of the trick, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is called You Do As I Do. So, Aldrin, once we get the music playing, you, you imitate what I do. So, Aldrin, if I go like this, what do you do? And if I go back and forth, what do you do? Okay, I think you got it. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, big round of applause here for my helper, Aldrin. magicians pull money out of the air. All you need is a silver bucket like this and money in the air. So you look around and you see a silver dollar, you grab it like this. There's another one right over here, I grab it. There's one there. There's one, it's kind of like catching flies to develop a knack for it. There's one more right here in front of you. And if you look up here, see right up there, there's a silver dollar. So some of you boys and girls have money behind your ears, you don't even know it. So I want everybody to look behind your ears, see if you have any silver dollars. Because I'm coming out there right now, and if I find the money first, I gotta keep it. Hold still, wait a minute, you got one right there. Did you know that? Wow. Okay, don't move, don't move, tilt your head, tilt your head. <laughs> Lily, let me see your nose, your nose, Lily. Uh oh, wait a minute, hold still, hold still. Uh -oh. Can I look behind your ear, please? 
Oh, you have one right there. Look at it. Yeah. Wow. You got one behind you here, too. Put it all over the place. Uh oh, one last one. Put your head there. No, uh -oh. That boy right there, would you stand up, please? Okay, we can win right there. Reach up there and grab a dollar. Okay, you got to hold it up like this. When I count to three, throw it in the bucket. Okay, ready? One, two, three, throw it. Wow! Well, thank you. What's your name? Jenny. Oh, you know, when I saw you sitting over there, I said, it looks like you have money on you. Can you reach out and grab a dollar? Okay, where does the money go? Good. Reach out and grab another one. Where does it go? Good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tilt your head, tilt your head. Oh, you gotta grab another one. Where does the money go? Good. Now what I want you to do, when I count to three, can you pretend like you're sneezing? If you count to three, can you go, oh, two. Okay, I gotta hold your nose. Here we go, ready? Let me see your nose. One, two, three, go, oh, two. Two. Oh, fuck it. Let's give him a big round of applause. Can you take a bow? Bow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not getting away with all that money. I Whoa. Well now, boys and girls, we're going to do a magic trick with a rabbit. Would everybody like to see a magic trick with a rabbit? This is a magic trick with a make-believe rabbit. The rabbit's name is Wilbur. And over here, this is the house that Wilbur lives in. Now, if you look over here, you will all see that Wilbur has a front door. Wilbur has a back door, another front door, and another back door. Now remember I said Wilbur's a make-believe rabbit? I'm going to bring out Wilbur now, so when I bring out Wilbur, everybody say, Hi, Wilbur. Are you ready? Here he is. Thank you for kissing me. Hi, Wilbur. Wow, wow. Inside of his house. Wilbur will then float invisibly through thin air and end up over here in the hat. Watch closely, it's going to happen very quickly. Do not blink your eyes. Wilbur goes inside of his house. I make a magical gesture. When I open up this door here, you will all see Wilbur has disappeared. Because right now, Wilbur has disappeared! Left, right side, right side. No, he's not over there. Wilbur has really disappeared. No, left side, left side. He's not there. I heard someone say open both doors at the same time. Yes. Who said that? Who oh. said that? I'm a fair magician. Wilbur's not here. He's not there. He's not there. Not there. You know what happened when we weren't looking? Wilbur was traveling invisibly through thin air and he ended up back over here in the hat. No Let's way. Well, now, boys and girls, we come to the closing mystery of the magic show. Now this is a classic of magic. This particular trick is over three thousand wow. years. Five hundred years old. What happened? This is called the Linking Rings of China. It's a mystery with eight rings. I'm gonna count them out loud. Everybody count with me. Ready? There's one. Two. We had them all mixed up. <laughs> well, I thought, wait a minute. Let's try that again. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. Now, for this mystery, Lily, would you help me again, please? Let's all clap our hands for the birthday girl, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Now, Lily, what I'd like you to do, can you take these two rings right here and try to put them together, okay? Now, I'm going to show you how to do it, Lily. Lily, the way you put two rings together, you take two rings like this. You push one ring this way, the other ring that way, this ring up, this ring down. Rub them together at the same time. Stop your right foot twice. Blow. Stop, stop. And they link. Have you got that, Lily? Almost, almost, almost. That was a little complicated, wasn't it? <laughs> Let me show you the easy way to do it. Now, Lily, the easiest way to put the rings together is you find the soft spot.
spot on the rib. Now, Lily, the soft spot's right here, so you hit it once, twice, three times. And no way. Together. No now, way. Lily, you do as I do, please. Lily, hold one ring in one hand. The other ring in the other hand. Hit the bottom ring once, twice, three times. They come right apart. Just like that. Yeah. What happened? Why? Why not? Now this time, Lily, to put three rings together, we take three rings like this. We throw them in midair. Just me though, Lily. <laughs> and they link. <laughs> 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 now, Lily, to put your three rings together very slowly, we rub them like this, twist them, and they go together. Wow. Now, Lily, point to one of those rings. Top ring, middle ring, or bottom ring. Which one? Middle ring. Everybody watch the middle ring. It becomes undone. And the other two go together. No way. Now from there, this is a giant watch stay. Now the hardest part of the trick, Lily. Lily, this is the hardest part of the trick. I will try to make this top ring go to the bottom and the bottom ring go to the top. All at the very same time. <laughs> Well, watch here. Top ring to the bottom, bottom ring to the top, same time. Isn't that? Whoa! Yeah. No way. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Really, though, Lily, look at this. The bottom ring really can go to the top. Whoa. No. The top ring goes to the bottom and it comes right off. Oh. That looks good. Now, Lily, from there we get different designs. This is called a chair, a chair for two or a swing. Swing. For the baseball player, this is a catcher's man. <laughs> This is called a chair for one. I do. I do. This is a world globe, and right now you can just imagine this is a flower opening. Whoa. Wow. And now, Lily, we come to your big part in the magic. Are you ready? Okay, now, Lily, when I spin these two bottom rings like this, I'm going to give you a magic wand, Lily. And at the count of three, I want you to hit the rings once with the magic wand, okay? Now, Lily, the magic wand you will be using is my favorite magic wand. I've had this since I was nine years old. There's only one like it in the whole wide world. It's going to break again, I can tell. Well, you promise to be very careful? Sure. We know what happened to the magic wand. You sure? Be very careful. Lily! You broke it! Oh, you broke it, girl! It's okay, Lily. I'm a magician. I can fix these things. Let me do some magic. Lily, it works a lot better. If you hold it right there in the middle. Hold it right there in the middle. <laughs> That's okay, Lily. Here we go. One, two, three. Hit the ring. Oh, bye, Lily. Don't grab our hands. Woo! Thank you, Lily. Take them out. Take them out, baby. Take them out, baby. And from there, there's a four ring linked in eight different places. And right now we end the mystery and the magic show with one big giant stay our ring. No way. Woo! Well, thank you very much for having us here. Uh, one last thing, though, boys and girls, before we go, I brought a little friend with me. He's a little guy. And he, he made me promise that he could meet all the boys and girls. Uh, he's been waiting in that magic box. His name is Rocky. Rocky is my pet raccoon. Are you ready, Rocky? I know Rocky. I promise. Come on, Rocky. Bunny. Coincidence. No way. He's real. What is that? He's so real. What is that? He's so real. He looks so real. He's so real. You got so excited. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take a bite first, honey. Oh, of course. He is so real. He is so real. No, no, guys. Tell my dad. It's fake hair. It's a raccoon. Raccoon. You want to say it to my friend, Rocky? Well, you've all made Rocky a very happy guy. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Big applause, big applause. Say bye bye. Woo hoo. Woo hoo hoo.